Hi everyone. Um, I thought I'd create a little intro for my next video. For those that fo know me and follow me on social media, you'll, um, you'll know that I post an awful lot of barn owl images. However, in this next video, what I wanted to do was actually capture a video of barn owls in flight. Now this, um, this actually proved to be quite a challenge, as you'll see in the video. Um, yeah, it took several attempts, so I hope you enjoy it. Here's the first try on a very cold and frosty morning. What a morning. I mean, look at this. Frost, fog. I like my barn owl photography, but I absolutely love my barn owl photography on a day like today. So I'm here today, I'm back in the paddock and it just, this fog is just incredible and the frost, it changes the whole scene completely. So what I'm here to do today is hopefully capture some video. Uh, they've been flying around this paddock till about half past seven in the morning recently. Um, so I'm back today, not necessarily to catch some images, but I will try, but really more importantly, some video, which I can bring to in a, in a, in a vlog. Um, but look at it, just absolutely stunning, stunning. So I've not seen it yet, but um, fingers crossed, we'll see something soon. Well, I've seen, uh, seen nothing so far, which is, Ah, a little bit of a shame, considering the uh, beautiful scene behind me. Um, so basically, just to explain, the, uh, the barn owls have been flying sort of over here somewhere, so I've, I've positioned myself along this, this hedgerow here um, to be out the be out the way a little bit, try and, try and uh, hide away a little, a little bit at least anyway. They, they're pretty tolerant here actually, so it's not too bad. But um, yeah, so I've got the big 600 with me today, again, and uh, I'm trying a new video head because I'm finding myself wanted to capture more video footage um, and it's quite hard to do on a gimbal so I bought this video head which I saw someone using on the internet uh, Morton Hilmer actually so, so yeah I'll give that a try um, I will do a review on this actually I'm going to do a comparison between this this video head and a gimbal um, for both video and photography so watch out for that one coming soon but yeah it'd be interesting to try that it looks amazing so we just need a bird now to, uh, to try and video or photograph so yeah, fingers crossed we see something. Can't see anything at the moment. And I'm getting pretty cold, I must admit. It's, uh, it's probably minus two out here now. When I, well, when I drove in the car, it was minus two this morning, so. Yeah, it's pretty cold and I haven't really come with a prepared really for this sort of standing around waiting in the fog. It's beautiful though. Um, but yeah, never mind. You win some, you lose some. Um, as I say, I will be back. I'll come back this evening. So maybe uh, this video will be uh, in two parts. A foggy morning and uh, probably a nice bright end to the day. So let's see what happens later. Back again this evening. I've uh, yeah, come to try off this barn owl again. Uh, this morning it was, uh, if you remember, it was it's changed a lot. It was frosty and foggy this morning. Beautiful, atmospheric. Uh, now it's uh, yeah, it's quite overcast, but it's beautiful light. So I've decided I'm going to park myself under a tree up here and sit down with a cup of coffee and wait to see what shows. You can see that tree. Where is it? Just there in the background. So I'm gonna sit underneath that tree and uh, hopefully, fingers crossed, we will see a bar now. So I'm in, uh, I'm in location, you can, you can probably see behind me the uh, sun's still quite high in the sky, so it's about 10 to 4, so it's just a case of um, yeah, sitting and waiting now. So I've tucked myself under, let me just show you, I've just tucked myself under this tree here, so I'm in the middle of the field, uh, kind of hidden away 
against this tree so here yeah, with luck I'm sort of in the middle of the field so I should get quite a good vantage point from here if he decides to come out and fly during daylight hours so um, he had, had the briefest of glimpses this morning as I said um, so yeah we'll see what happens it's, uh, it's not cold yet and it's getting cold so it's most definitely time for a, for a cup of coffee so I'm gonna yeah I brought one with me today so I did bring one this morning and uh, yeah I felt it so I needed a coffee this morning so brought one this evening and I'm gonna have that now He came out and went back in again. Ah, that's very annoying. Barnell's back out. As you can see the lights uh, gone now I mean it's pretty dark now actually um, well we saw it it wasn't the greatest of video I think it was quite dark when it came out so um, couldn't really get focus on it very well so I'll see what we get when I get home but uh, what I'll probably do is I'll probably come back in the morning when the, uh, the lights a bit better and see if we can, we can try again And it's been a yeah, non-stop action since I got here. So the, the barn owl's been out uh, hunting and uh, finally caught something just over here, which I got on video. Um, yeah, I was trying to get video last night, even though it came out, it was, uh, I, was, I was really struggling to uh, track the bird. So I came out this morning with a new tactic and um, trying this uh, video pan head out. And it yeah, works a treat. So I think I've got some nice slow-mo footage. Um, not the greatest of light, it's quite cloudy today compared to yesterday, but uh, fingers crossed we've got something to show you. Well, I think we've got some wonderful footage. I'm really, really pleased with it actually. So, yeah, some really lovely buttery smooth slow-mo as it comes flying by me just here. So it's a gorgeous looking bird. I'm, yeah, I'm thrilled to bits. Well, I think that's it. I think the uh, show's over. He's um, he's gone into roost for the day. So, but yeah, amazing morning. Um, loved every bit about it, and this while I've been out here, especially photographing barn owls. So, as I uh, posted on social media this week, um, I'd like to do another print giveaway, and it's a really a uh, to say thank you for all the support you're giving me on the channel, on social media. All my accounts continue to grow with uh, subscribers, and I really do appreciate all the comments and support you give me. So. I'd like to give away this uh, little owl image, which is an A4 mounted print, um, and it has to be one of my uh, most popular images. 
I remember it vividly taking this one. It took about just over a month to capture and it's the getting it just running down the path like that was uh, quite an achievement, I'm, an image I'm really proud of. So yeah, so to win this image, um, yeah, please subscribe to my channel, leave me a comment below and tell me what it is about wildlife photography or any form of photography that you love, whether it be just being out in nature or the feel good fats or the de how you de-stress, but leave me a comment and I'll get my daughter to pick a winner in a couple of weeks time. So thanks again for watching. I hope you enjoyed this one and I'll see you out there. Bye for now.